Hey yo, what is going on guys? My name is Giovanni, welcome back to a new video on Hypixel Skyblock and this is the definitive guide on minions in Hypixel Skyblock. In this video you will find every single thing you need to know about minions regarding fuel, upgrades, etc, etc. And today with me I do have Eric and Chills. In the background we do have some nice buildings but that's not what you guys came for. Now, <laughs> sub to GR or ban, well there you guys go. First of all, what are minions exactly? Minions are basically a way of passive income and at every single collection you will have a minion at level 1. So you only need 50 cobblestone to get the cobblestone minion. You will start off with 5 minions that you can place and for every tier basically you need more unique minions that you have crafted so you can place more minions. Um, every unique minion is basically a different kind of minion or a level minion. So. A cobblestone minion tier 1 is unique, but a cobblestone minion tier 2 minion is unique as well. So that means if you have a cobblestone minion 11 unlocked, you do have 11 uh, minion slots unlocked. Or 11 unique minions, that's what I wanted to say. So as I said, you will start off with 5 and you will slowly uh, graduate towards more minion slots. But the more minions you have, uh, the more unique minions in total you need to have. Um, in the beginning you need 0, then you need 5, 15, 30, 50, etc, etc. So currently we do have 20 minion slots uh, and that requires 350 unique minions. For um, 21 minion slots we do need a total of 400 total unique minions. Now the way you can actually craft minions and you, how you can level them up is fairly easy. Um, most of the time it's a tool um, with a certain amount um of in this case cobblestone around it and for the next level most of the time it's times two then it's times two again uh, then it should be like a whole stack and then you will have the enchanted form times two times two times two times two and in the end you will have um eight times um 64 or basically eight stacks of the enchanted form now that's not in every case but in most cases it actually is then for minion upgrades because that's probably the part that every one of you guys came for. Now your minions have a few different slots that you can put certain stuff in. In the top left you will have your minion skin slot and the way you can earn minion skin slots is only um, with having a rank. So if you guys are let's say MVP, MVP+, plus, MVP++, plus plus, you guys will get certain minion skins um, at certain times of the year and this is where you can place them but it doesn't affect anything because it's only cosmetic. Now the tier below is the fuel uh, bar basically. This It's actually the orange one. There are a bunch of different types of fuel. The first one being coal. Now you don't need a recipe for coal because it's just basically a normal ingredient and it will increase the speed of your minion by 5% for 30 minutes. And then the next one being block of coal, it increases the speed of your minion by 5% for 5 hours. Now you don't need a recipe for this as well because a block of coal is just 9 times 1 coal. Then the next one is enchanted bread and enchanted bread can be found um, in wheat uh, collection and then 5. And the recipe for this is fairly easy, it's 6 times 10 wheat. And it increases the speed of your minion by 5% for 12 hours, so if you're just starting out Enchanted bread is actually pretty good because it's super easy to get and last for 12 hours. The next one <coughs> is enchanted <coughs> coal. That can be found in coal 4. And as you guys can see what you need for enchanted coal is 5 times 32 coal. And it um, increases the speed of your minion by 10% for one day. Then the next one is enchanted charcoal and that is under coal 5. For enchanted charcoal, you actually need 4 times 32 coal, so that's 128 coal, and 32 oak wood. And as I stated in earlier videos, enchanted charcoal is probably the best thing to go for in the beginning um, because it increases the speed by 20%, which is pretty significant, and it lasts for a whole day. Then um, the next upgrade is actually a solar panel, but that's the only one I don't have. It's under quartz 9, um, so if you guys can see. Quartz 9, you can craft a solar panel, but you do need 3 times 64 enchanted quartz, and it will increase the speed of your minion by 25% during the day, unlimited duration. Now the point is, it is pretty expensive to make, and it only works during the day. When you're going offline, even if you would have a day saver, so it's permanently day, 
um, you wouldn't have the benefit of the solar panel. So it's expensive and it doesn't work when you're offline. And that is why the Enchanted Lava Bucket is way better. Now, the Enchanted Lava Bucket can be found under Coal 8. And if you go to Coal 8, you can see it. And the recipe for this is three Enchanted Iron and two Enchanted Locks of Coal. And those can be crafted with 160 Enchanted Coal per Enchanted Block of Coal. Now, I know that's pretty expensive, uh, but it's super rewarding as soon as you have an Enchanted Lava Bucket because it increases the speed of your minion by 25% and it has unlimited duration. Now, a common misconception is that your minion is going to work 25% faster. It increases the speed of your minion by 25%, thus meaning your minion is 20% faster. If we actually do the mathematics, you would see that increasing the speed of something driving will actually result in um, the vehicle um, arriving 20% earlier. So in case of minions, if it works 25% faster, <laughs> if you increase the speed of your minion by 25%, uh, the results will be 20% faster and not 25%. And another fuel type that I almost forgot to mention is the catalyst. It increases the number of resources created by this minion times three for three hours. Now catalyst can be found under endstone eight. So we guys go to endstone eight and then you guys can see the recipe is. We don't have the recipe, uh, but we still get friends who can make the catalyst for us. And so we don't really bother going for endstone anyway. Uh, you need one crystal fragment that you can find um, when you're actually fighting in the end. Um, so you don't rob them. And if you guys are destroying the towers, then um, you guys will get crystal fragments as well. And you need eight and so. Um, this one is placed inside a fuel department where normally you're actually on a lava bucket or something like that goes. And it's actually really, really good if you have a ton of them, just like we do, um, because you can increase the resource gain times three. Now, the next uh, option for your minions are actually hoppers. And um, what you can do with hoppers, it's under the blue one. You can add a budget hopper, enchanted or perfect. Now, perfect hoppers don't exist yet. Um, but budget hoppers can be found under iron ingot 5. So if we guys go to collection and, and go to iron, you guys can see that you can craft a budget hopper. It's 5 enchanted iron and a chest. And this item can be placed inside any minion. It automatically sells generated items when the minion has no space. Items are sold for 50% of their selling price. Um, I wouldn't really recommend using either budget or enchanted hopper, but I will explain that in a second. Now... We did have two diamonds running running in this minion with an, an enchanted hopper just to see what the results were currently there's a budget hopper in here. Uh, but I can already tell you it's not really worth. Now the next upgrade for your minion is the enchanted hopper. And the enchanted hopper can be found under iron ingot 9. This item can be placed inside any minion and it automatically sells generated items when the minion has no space. Items are sold for 90% of their selling price. Now you would think that this is super good but you need five enchanted iron blocks and a normal chest. So if you would calculate how expensive it is to make, it's around 450 to 500k, which is super expensive. Now then there are guys who are gonna say, well, if your minion is full, it's super good, right? Yes, um, but you wouldn't take into account that your minion from tier 11 can store a whole lot especially when you have a storage chest and with a super compactor which we'll explain in a few seconds your minion will take around two to two and a half weeks to fill up so that's why enchanted hoppers or any hopper basically in general are not worth in my opinion now perfect hoppers coming soon but i can already predict that it's probably going to be 100 percent of the selling price and in that case it wouldn't be you know it would be worth but it just depends how expensive your budget hopper is going to be now then the last two uh, are actually the yellow spots and you have a few options what you can actually place in the yellow spots. Now the first one is an auto smeller. This item can be used as a minion upgrade. This will automatically smelt materials that a minion produces. It's under cobblestone free, so I'll show you guys that as well. And the recipe is fairly easy. It's 64 cobblestone with one um, coal. And the next one is the compactor and the compactor is on the cobblestone five. For a compactor, you do need seven enchanted cobblestone and one enchanted redstone. And this item can be used as a minion upgrade. This will automatically turn materials that a minion produces into their block form. If we would use it on a clay minion, instead of getting normal clay, we would just get blocks of clay, which is pretty nice because you save space with it. 
The next one is a Super Compactor 3000, and this will automatically turn materials that a minion produces into their enchanted form when there's uh, when there are enough resources in the minion storage. So instead of having 160 normal clay, you will now get enchanted clay. Instead of 160 normal diamonds, we will get an enchanted diamond. Um, which is perfectly fine because it actually saves space. Now this minion is just placed and we're going to place these materials back in a few seconds. Uh, but currently this minion is not really doing anything. Now the Super Compactor 3000 can be found under Cobblestone 9. So if you guys go to Cobblestone 9, the recipe for this is 7x64 enchanted cobblestone and 1 enchanted redstone block. Next one is diamond spreading. And now I made a video specifically about diamond spreading. It's under diamond 6, so the recipe, you guys have seen this already. 8 vines and 1 enchanted diamond. And vines can be earned for trades. You can trade jungle leaves for vines. Now, this item can be used as a mean upgrade. Place it in any minion and it will occasionally generate diamonds. A common misconception with diamond spreading, uh, as stated in the earlier video, is that you get diamonds instead of the normal uh, resource. This isn't the case. You get the resource. So in this case, you would get four clay plus one diamond. Now, the point is, you get a chance per resource that you mine. So that's why it's especially good on clay, why it's especially good on redstone or lapis lazuli, because you have four times the chance of getting diamonds. And if you guys don't believe me, test it out. Um, get a cobble minion and get a clay minion or redstone minion. You guys see that you will get a significant... Uh, amount of diamonds and it's way more than you would get with a cobblestone minion. Uh, diamond spreading is actually really useful when you have a minion you know going for money only. So in this case uh, um, I would actually recommend the setup with Super Compactor 3000 and diamond spreading. Now the next one is a minion expander and the minion expander can be found on quartz 5 so if you guys go to quartz 5 the recipe for minion expander is um, 16 enchanted quartz and uh, two enchanted redstone. And this item can be used as a minion upgrade and increases the effect radius of the minion by one extra block. Um, you can stack minion expanders in the same way how you can stack diamond spreading. So we can chop in two diamond spreading here. Um, or if we would have. Why is it glitching? Okay, never mind. If we would have two minion expanders, we could stack it. Now, what it does normally, your minion area is five by five. And when you put in one mean expander, it turns into um, seven by seven. And when you put in two mean expanders, you will get an area of nine by nine. So you have 80 blocks to mine. The question is, why is that good? Well, it's especially good if you're actually trying to um, increase uh, a certain minion. So let's say quartz, if you would have 20 minions with, and all of them would have mean expanders, you would have 80 blocks per minion. So that's 1600 blocks that you can mine. Most of the time when you are starting to mine one minion, you will fully deplete the minion before you can continue on to the next one. Uh, or if you're going back, so you would deplete this minion, then go back, you know, do all of them. And as soon as you're at the end, this one has generated every single block. Well, if you would have nine by nine, you could just keep on going forever and just get more materials. It doesn't increase the speed, but it's just really good for um, online farming if you have a ton of minions, in my opinion. Then the next one is Enchanted Egg, and I don't have that one as well, but it's on a Raw Chicken 6. So you guys go to Raw Chicken 6, and um, you need 9 times 16 eggs, and this item can be used as a mean upgrade for chicken generators. Guarantees <laughs> that each chicken will drop an egg after they spawn. Um, yeah, so it used to be really OP with just AFK chicken generators um, with a ton uh, of chicken spawning because eggs would sell for a lot, but it's not worth any more because they actually reduced the um, amount of mobs that you can have under a single generator. So it's not really worth to use chicken eggs anymore. Now, another specific mean upgrade is the flint shovel. And we have that one right here. It grants a 100% chance of receiving flint from gravel. This item can be used as a mean upgrade to allow gravel minions to always receive flint. And it's actually under gravel 2. So you guys go to gra gravel 2. It's only 2 sticks with 10 flint. You guys can see 
that the first few minions you do need gravel to upgrade it but afterwards you need enchanted flint and for enchanted flint you need normal flint and um, enchanted flint is really expensive to make and it would be a shame if a lot of your minion time was wasted with getting gravel so that's why the flint shovel is really really good now there are two more not necessarily upgrades but things that you can use to improve your minions the first one being under pumpkin ed so if you guys go to pumpkin ed you guys can see that you can get a farm crystal it can be placed on your private island increase the speed of nearby farming minions by 10 percent so if you guys would have farming minions getting the farm crystal would be really good because you would increase the speed of your minions then the last one is the wood gun crystal and it's under birch wood Eight. so we guys are going to foraging and then we are going to birch wood eight you guys can see that the wood cutting crystal can be placed in your private island and it increases the speed of nearby foraging minions by 10 percent so once again if you would have wood minions going for you you guys could use the wood cutting crystal um, to increase the speed of your minions that is everything regarding minions that i know that i have learned over the past you know Four months playing Hypixel Skyblock. If you guys have any questions, oh, I actually forgot the storage. Oof. <laughs> how how could I forget this? Um, you can upgrade the storage of your minions uh, by using small, medium, or large storage chest. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my super compactor back in this minion um, because it was annoying me. And I'm going to use the large and the medium storage chest on those minions. So the large chest goes here and the medium chest goes here. Now they're all under the bulk wood collection. So the small storage is under oak wood 4 and it's only 64 oak wood. That's the first one. So it's really cheap. Then the next one is the medium storage recipe, which is still cheap. You only need eight enchanted oak wood and one small storage chest. Now the large storage chest is absolutely super expensive. You need 8 times 32 enchanted oak wood and you would need a medium storage chest as well and it would increase your minion storage by 15 items. In my opinion, getting a large storage is in absolutely useless if you already have a super compactor. With a super compactor it's already going to take a lot of time until your minion fills up and especially with a medium storage chest your clay minions can go for about two weeks without you having to empty them so you spending that amount of money on uh, or that amount of time um on <coughs> getting large storage is absolutely useless in my opinion anyway that is 100 everything that i know about minions if you guys still have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and i will catch you guys in the next video love you guys all peace take care and bye